Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee Noah. Yeah. You think I've been missing? No, I ain't been nowhere. I've been right here. Well, the internet, you know, I've been having problems with it. So now, I had to go ahead and get a new server. Yeah. It's dark in there. I was going to show you the box. It's a bigger box, different company. And, um... Hopefully, it's going to solve the problem. Uh, with the old one, uh, you might be watching TV and all of a sudden it's out. It might be over in the morning before it comes back. So, we've taken care of that and just got a new company. So, uh, and the other problem was the storage. I kept running out of storage. Four videos. Storage ran out. And once the storage ran out, you don't get the video. Yeah. So, I want to thank Miss Risa Richardson for helping me add the extra storage. I should be good now. Uh, so, I got some videos that I'm working on. But uh, this right here, it's just a little simple. Today's Friday, and we're eating fish. Yeah. Um, I usually go to the fish market and get the fish, and I buy it up and throw it in the freezer. So... We went in the freezer. I'm going to throw some fries with it. And that's going to be it. Just for tonight. It's Friday. Fish night. Yeah. Isn't that what they always said? That's where I grew up. They always said Friday was fish night. Yeah. Oh, and then we used to go to the fish market. <sighs> Best fish in the world, but nastiest place you ever want to see. <sighs> and everybody in town went there. Yeah. Mr. Yarber, he caught it, cleaned it, and if you couldn't find your cat, it was over there. You pull up there, thousands of cats come out. Tennessee North don't like cats. Mm -mm. But, uh, that was back in the day. So, tonight, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to have some fish and catfish. Fillets. Um, I like the fish with the bones in it, but they don't want to pick it out. So, yeah. So, that's what we're having. So, hold on. Okay. I'm turned on my oil for my fries. And I'm going to put this pot for the fish. Now, this cast iron pot right here, you can see it. Sold at a yard sale. It reminded me of my mama. My mama used to have a one twice that size. I couldn't resist it. Yeah. And that thing would cook so good. Beans, just about anything you want to cook in there. So I'm going to put my fries in there. And what I have here is fillets. I've cut them up because these or some large fish. Yeah. I get it at the fish market. Yeah, and I buy up probably $30, $40 worth. Cut it up. Put it in the freezer. And that's the one thing everybody in the house will eat. It's catfish. Yeah. So, but you know what I got? The hot sauce. And we only like Louisiana. So... I dug in the closet, dug in the cabinet, found just a little. Thank God, just uh, me and my youngest son. We're the only ones going to shake some hot sauce. Yeah. So, hold on while my grease get hot, and I'll be back. Oh, this is what I'm using. Seasoned meal. Yeah. So I do a big bag of it, and then I put it in something else, and I throw this in the freezer so it'll stay fresh. So I'm just going to bowl, pour some in the bowl, throw this back in the freezer. Yeah, it stays fresh when you put it in the freezer. So hold on. Okay, I'm going to test my oil for my... Uh, 
Yeah, it's ready. So, the reason why my back is turned to you, because my kitchen is long. Yeah. So why would they put this over here? I don't know why they would put it over here in this corner, but they did. So, I'm going in with my fish. I don't want to crowd it too much. Now I have a deep fryer, but I don't want to pull all that out. Just for a few pieces of fish and some french fries. And I don't want to put my fries and my fish in the same oil because I don't want all those crumbs. So if I put the um, fries over here in this other one, I can save that oil. You don't save fish oil. Mm -mm. At least Tennessee North down. So hold on. Okay. So I got a big bag of fries. But I found something that was in a zip box. I'm going to use these a little bit first. Yeah. So I'm going to drop my fries in. Yeah, not no homemade fries. Let me get something to put my fish on. Okay. Getting ready to take my first pieces of fish up. Yeah, like so. Drop some more. I got my fries going. Hold on. Okay, that's what we looking like so far. Still got fish and stuff in the in the grease. Hold on. Okay, while we waiting on the rest of our fish, I'm gonna take you back a ways. You know I tell stories anyway, so I'm gonna tell you this story. Back in when I was a kid in the seventies, and they would go to the fish market and get fish on Fridays or Saturdays. Um, the one thing that went with it, if it wasn't a Coke, Kool-Aid. And I know I've spoke about this before. Used to be, this pack was a whole lot bigger. Used to be, you only needed one pack. The pack is so small now. Not only you gotta have, and this is for a picture. And you always mix. There was a cherry. I'm gonna put a lemon and a blue lemonade. Now, when we were coming up, what flavor would this be? This. Somebody said, make some Kool-Aid. 
Which one? What kind? Not you say cherry, lemonade, raspberry. Red. What kind of Kool Aid you like? I like red, yellow, and blue. Yeah, those were flavors back then. So, I don't drink Kool Aid often. Two of these, and it still tastes like water. To a, a pitch. So you gotta go in with a third one. They not only cut back on the size, but the taste too. So three packs of Kool-Aid. Now I've already put a little sugar in here. And this is a half a cup, so I'm gonna put a cup in here. That's another thing they used to be back in the day. They didn't measure, they just kept pouring until they felt like it was right. Yeah. I know y'all remember those days. And a wooden spoon. My cousin swore the Kool Aid had a certain taste depending on what you stirred with, whether it was metal or wood. I said, as long as it make it go around, I'm good with it. I'm pretty sure it's going to taste the same. Especially if I put some ice on it. Coming from those metal trays. Pop your ice out. And act like you ain't going to feel that, that ice tray back up. And that's the Kool-Aid. Perfect. From my childhood. Yeah. Kool-Aid. With the fish down. Hold on. Guess what we looking like. Yeah. Let me get a plate together. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what I'm working with. Fries. Look how pretty and brown that fish is. And light bread. Yeah, that's the way we used to do it back in my day. And a good old glass, a good old glass of Kool-Aid. You remember, here's a story. You remember, um, I don't know if you remember or not, but when I was a kid, they used to have this place called, um, it was a stamps. You got your stamps at the uh, grocery store and you put them in a book. And uh, after you got so many stamps, you could take them to the value. Value stamps, you could take them to the, um, they had a store. And you could shop with these stamps. You tra trading, what was it trading stamps? No, it wasn't trading stamps, but they were stamps. And after you buy so many groceries, you'll get so many stamps, and um, you put them in a book. And then, I remember my mom used to have boxes of them. And when she got so many, she finds something in the catalog she wanted, and she take it down there, and she get it. And I don't know if y'all remember, but you could get a uh, Tupperware. Um... I remember one time she got a sewing machine. I mean, all kind of stuff. Dishes. And, um... Yeah. With those stamps. You remember the, um... Yeah, I'm going back in my chat. The jelly jars. Jelly used to come in a jar. And after you got through using the jelly, it was a nice glass. That was the good stuff. Yeah. Just telling my age. Yeah. It was the jelly jars and the peanut butter jars. The peanut butter would come in up. Had a little fancy something around the top. Those were the glasses you kept. Yeah. 
You get a whole set of them. Oh, you, you were ready for company. And they also had these metal cups you could get. And they came in um, all colors. Used to be down in the, um, hold on. <coughs> Used to be down in the oatmeal. Remember those plastic cups you could get in the oatmeal? And they were little decorative cups. Yeah. I done told my age. I ain't mad at it. That was some good times. Yeah. Show it to you again. See, I'm in the South. And when we would have what they call rallies and um, homecomings. And people who left away from here went to the big cities where jobs were better. They come back home. And that Saturday, everybody head to the fish market and get some fish. And then that Sunday, you go to church and oh, there's a big old spread out there. Rallies. Yeah. Fun times. Let me speak to the Lord about this. Amen. Amen. And amen. Catfish. Mmm. I'm to put some loose in on it though. Mmm. -hmm. Now, you want fancy, you got hush puppies. This is what went with the fish. Yeah. Good old light bread. Mm -hmm. Back then, they used to cut up their own fries. I had a big bag in the freezer. I wasn't no need doing all that. Mm -hmm. I've cooked fish on here before. And you probably see me cook fish again. It's a good quick Friday meal. I appreciate y'all sending me those comments saying you miss me. Oh, Tennessee North ain't going nowhere. This, this, um, internets and, you know, yeah. You have problems with that, you have problems. And, um, the phone, my tablet, they all wasn't syncing together. My daughter told me something about um, we shared the same iCloud or something. I, I don't know anything about that. The I took my phone, got the um, extra storage with, but it didn't sync over to my other one. And I called her. I said, I don't lost another video. It didn't sync together. So I had to open it up on my other phone, the one that I taped with, look at it, and then it jumped on. Then I had to get out of um, settings, and it was fixed. And the internet was off again. Off and on. We were looking at it about, um, I guess about two that afternoon. You know when it came back home? Around 3 in the morning. And this the day it wasn't raining. It was dry. <clears throat> and since they don't stay off long enough, they don't feel they owe you no credit.
um, I'm paying, and I, they see it more than I do, or use it more than I do. Mm-mm. So I had to let them go. First it was, the, um, they said my box wasn't big enough. So I upgraded to another box. Then they said something came loose at the pole. Took them two days to come out and fix that. Then they said my box wasn't good. There was something wrong with the box. So they replaced the box. Now I'm still going out every night. Every time you turn around, we don't have no internet. Now Tennessee North don't have that company. Mm -mm. As my mother said, have sense enough to come out the rain. You paying for a service that you hardly get to use. My TV went off and I usually leave the TV on. I said, darn, the power went out. <laughs> my son said, mom, the power's on. Is my TV broke? Internet was off again. Mm -mm. Did I mention it's fishes? Mm -mm -mm. Right out the skillet. I don't know about nobody else, but I don't like fish that's been sitting around. Mm -mm. I want it right out the skillet. As soon as it hit that. Uh, paper landing and oil leak up, put it on my plate. Mm -hmm. Now, mister, he could save it and put it in the refrigerator and eat it again tomorrow. Mm -mm. Microwave it. I said, Did you just home? I ain't gonna eat it like that. Mm -mm. This is that Wonder Bread. Soft. It might be too soft. Had it took three packs of Kool Aid. This some? No. That Kool Aid is not as good as it was when I was a child. Ooh, Kool Aid was all that. But a lot of things you have when you're a child and you become an adult don't seem the same. That's when you know you don't grow up. Remember times when um, when I was a child and we used to get candy. Excuse me. And they're still making some of the same candy now. Down laters. Down laters was about this big when I was a child. Now they're the not even a penny size. I don't know if you ever remember the um, kisses. The down laters are the size of the kisses. And that's all you get, maybe 
two, three. But like a dollar. You get a whole pack, it's almost two dollars. It was a nickel when I was a child. And you got a whole pack, probably eight, eight to ten pieces in it. Wow. Times have changed. I got a grandson that's 19. He loves to hear about when I was young. He said, oh, things are so cheap. Compared to when you look at it now, it, well, we used to get a quarter for allowance. Back in the 70s, that was a lot of money. On Sundays, those uncles used to come by. My mom always cooked. Everybody came to her house. They'd be passing out them quarters. Hmm. You could do a lot with a quarter back then. Don't mess around and get a couple of dollars. Oh. Skating was 50 cents to get in. Movies and popcorn, dollar and a quarter. Movies, popcorn, and a drink, I think, was about a dollar and a quarter. Yeah. Swimming pool, I think it was like a quarter. Swim all day. We used to play baseball or softball. And um, we didn't have to pay to play. We just had to buy a shirt. They pick out a color, and we all buy the same shirt. And you could go down to a place called Kent's, and uh, uh, what was the other place called? Kent's, and some other places. Uh, Cress's, Penhurst. And we all get the same t shirt. And we get the same tube socks with the color. If you got a red shirt, you get tube socks with the red stripe around the top. Tube socks came up to your knee. And you wore your tennis shoes. You get a glove and a bat, you in there. We didn't have to, um, um, we just went out there and, hey, you got on the team. You played all summer. <clears throat> yeah. That was the thing to do. Play some baseball. Mm. Eat fish. Play softball. Watch my other, <clears throat> excuse me, watch for my other videos. This was a little shorty. Just to let y'all know I haven't gone anywhere. I was having all those technical difficulties. Hopefully I got them straightened out. So if you see this video, Tennessee North got them straight now. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. I want to thank y'all for sticking by me. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about Old Tennessee North. Give me a thumbs up. 
hit that notification button. If it's working, you'll know the next time when I come with another video. Look for me. I'm going to try to get one in at least once a week. Um, my daughter is in that time where she's getting real close. And uh, so I'm having to help her out more at her school. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to try to get at least one in there. Thank you, my friends and family. Bye now.